Well, as you can see, it's a wet and miserable morning. Oh, it rained last night. God, we had some thunderstorms. Can't believe just how much rain we've had over the last few days. The wholesaler is not coming today. It's just too wet, so uh, that's out. But yesterday, and I know you're dying to know, we managed to sell a total of 3,000 bahts worth of fish. Now the hotel guy only took a few because obviously he was only selling to a hotel. And uh, the trader, the main trader that we have, he didn't really take very much either because he was so late for the days. But at the end of the day, we still sold 3,000 bahts worth of fish, which is absolutely fantastic. So far this month, we've sold just under 8,000 bahts worth of fish. So it's really good going in a week. That's not bad at all. So yeah, it's looking pretty good. Now what we've got to do today is buy some scales. And Pi's just having a look at um, a couple. The thing is, we're borrowing the ones from our neighbor at the moment, and it's not ideal, so. Um, looks like we're gonna buy some scales for ourselves. Well, the price of these scales range from 1,500 to 1,900 baht. So it's quite a bit of money, but you know, it's an essential piece of equipment for the uh, fish, so it uh, needs to be done. We can just factor that into the overall costs and uh, absorb it, if you want. They've got a really good tool store here though. They've got all sorts of gear in here. Wow. Well, Pi thinks that's a little bit expensive. She's going to go and try and see if she can find another store and uh, get a better price. Well, we found another store. And it's just a case of seeing if they've got uh, the scales that Pi wants. The uh, price looks to be the same, so, um, yeah. It looks like it uh, be a case of it doesn't matter where you go in the uh, town, you're going to pick up the same price. Not a bad little store this, though, but it's very dark in here. Yeah, they've got all sorts, though. Thai stores are just generally brilliant, though, because there's, you know, each one has got so much stuff in it. You just don't know where to look next. It's a shopper's paradise, it really is. That's a great little motorcycle cover, isn't it? <clears throat> now, I believe Bob showed me one of those. What do you reckon then, Bob? Get one of those on your Vulcan. <laughs> That'll keep you dry. <laughs> well, we found a few more. That one only goes up to 20 kilos, so that's no good. Yeah, the actual one we're looking for, I think he's going to come out around about sort of 2,000 bucks. Pi really doesn't know what to do because she says they're a bit expensive and they are but um, you know if you need them for the tools of your trade then uh, you know there isn't little choice to be honest with you. Sometimes you just have to suffer the cost. Well Pi got her scales and uh, it was 980 baht. So it worked out cheaper than we thought. So yeah that uh, does the job. It'll weigh the fish, that's it. Can't believe just how much rain we've had though in the last 48 hours. Roll on the summer, that's all I can say. Can't really complain though. You know, the weather is very changeable. Even in the uh, wet season or the dry season, you get rain and it can even get a little bit chilly. But generally, it, you know, you get a few days like this and it will just clear up and it'll be nice and warm again. There you go. Pie's happy. Right, that's the job done here. So uh, we're going to head on back home. Lots of other bits and pieces to do. And uh, see how this day rolls out. Now, a few people came up with a pretty good idea regarding building a jetty. They were saying that uh, it would help the tourists. 
So instead of having to slide down a mud bank, they could just walk along a little jetty. That ain't a bad idea at all. Now Bob suggested that I use the old concrete post that we couldn't use um, for the jetty, or better still, he came up with another idea, and that's to use these. Big old water butts. So basically you seal them off and then they float, so you get a floating jetty. That's an outstanding idea, and one we might really consider. I just spoke to my father-in-law about it, and he looked at me and went, yeah, that's actually a really good idea. So, uh, yeah, we could even move it around the pond then. Well, what's this space? We might just get ourselves a floating jetty. How nice is that? Oh, it's lousy out here, though. Oh, dear. So much rain. We did get a call from the uh, fish guy and he said that if it does clear up in the afternoon, he'll come back and take some more. But um, the way it's looking right now, I think today will be a no-go. But not to worry, we now know we've got a few buyers, so that's a good thing. And uh, yeah, it's just a case of um, being able to do it when it's not pouring down with rain. Well, it's time for Pie and I to uh, empty the uh, frog farm and then uh, set up the habitat. So, uh, yep, the concrete's been well and truly cleaned. And Pi's just going to take the end caps off. Get rid of all the water. And also uh, test our little drainage system as well that we put in. And it looks like it's working just a treat. Yes, you're right. This water will end up going in the pond. It won't, eventually. We'll uh, divert it somewhere else. All good stuff, isn't it? <laughs> Hopefully the uh, drainage system will work uh, so it doesn't leave a huge amount of water in there but um, it will allow us to clean out the frog pen from time to time, so it's brilliant. Yep, another job done. The next stage, of course, is building the habitat for them. Can't wait till I get those frogs in here, though. Right now, if you see the water level that's in here, uh, that's probably what uh, we'll go for. It'll give the frogs somewhere to swim down there, and of course they can come up here onto dry land. Again, you've seen an awful lot of water come out of here and obviously it's going into the pond. There won't be that amount of water, obviously, you know, when we're, we're actually farming the frogs. And we'll try and divert it probably into a soak away pit or something. Pretty good though. Well, there you go. That's the uh, frog pen empty and it didn't take very long at all. So the drainage system works just fine. Excellent stuff. We could say that's stage three of the project now complete. So now stage four, build the habitat. Well, would you believe it? Late in the afternoon and the sun comes out. He said he just broke through the clouds for about five minutes and already it's roasting hot. It's lovely, isn't it? <laughs> I just do love it. I just do. All right. So let's have a look at some progress on our little frog farm, shall we? We now have a habitat. Yeah, come along quite a way. So take a look, guys. First of all, we've got some uh, watering, obviously. Uh, not an awful lot. Again, it doesn't need to be very deep. And uh, we've got some duckweed. And we've got some water hyacinths as well. It just gives the frogs somewhere to sort of hide under. Now, obviously, right now, there's not an awful lot of duckweed. But duckweed, as you know, grows really, really fast. Now, the frogs don't eat duckweed, so it will spread and it will blanket this in probably a week. But that's brilliant because then what we can do, we can use this as almost like an incubator for duckweed and then transfer it to both the ponds. Fantastic, isn't it? What Pi has also done, she's laid down all these blocks. And as you can see, they've got uh, holes in them. And apparently, the frogs just love going in there. And they go all the way around. 
brilliant. And of course, because we didn't put too much water in, uh, it means the frogs got somewhere to sort of come up onto dry land here. All we've got to do now is put the netting over the top so they can't jump out and then go and buy some frogs. Can't wait. I really can't wait. I'm really looking forward to it. Now, it depends on what happens tomorrow. Uh, the fish guy is certainly not going to turn up today. Uh, not a problem, but uh, probably tomorrow. If we can, we'll try and get the netting done tomorrow and then Sunday market, we might be able to buy the frogs. We'll just have to see how it goes. But uh, yeah, brilliant progress. Really, really happy with it. And hopefully uh, in the not too distant future now, there'll be about 500 little frogs jumping around in here. Absolutely brilliant. Well, it's been another busy day running around Chenzek Down and working on the farm. We got quite a bit done. So uh, yeah, another productive day. Time for Pi and I to head on out and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Whatever you do, have a fantastic day and stay safe. Don't forget guys, please share, subscribe and like. You know the drill and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now, guys. See you tomorrow.